Hello, this is Buick Drift Electra, and we're really excited. We just received our iPhone SE, and we're going to be showing you the uh, insights of this device uh, in this video. Uh, we're going to have a next video that's going to show the new iPad uh, Pro 9.7. Uh, it's right here, so we're going to put a link on how to access the video here um, uh, on the screen. And I fix it. It's going to actually currently doing a teardown of these two devices, and we're also going to put links on how to access the teardown from my fix it with the X-ray images uh, in, here on the screen. Uh, so here's the iPhone SE, and uh, first thing we're going to do is to open the box. So. So let's start by unboxing the uh, iPhone SE. And there we go. Nice packaging from Apple as usual. Let me show you, don't drop it. So here's the iPhone SE, is the white one that we bought, 16 gigabytes. And it comes with the you know, headphone, power, and the lightning cable as usual. So let's put this aside. And in this uh, teardown, we're going to be comparing the SE with the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 5S. And as you can see, they are pretty much the same, if not identical. Here's the 5. I'm putting order. So that's SE, the 5S, and here's the 5. Let me show this side as well. Nice two different colors, black, the uh, gray, and the white. I wish it was planned, but it wasn't, but it's nice how it came about. So it looks like, you know, from the outside, it, they, they look exactly the same. Of course, the difference is the 5 doesn't have the um, Touch ID that you can find on the 5S and on the SE. All right, we're going to use the Prime S to start this inspection with X-Ray. Uh, here's a link on the bottom uh, where you can find uh, Griffin Lamaster's introduction to the Prime S. Uh, we're gonna use this device because it has a large sensor which allows us to actually take an image of these three guys at the same time, which is gonna be super cool so we can see the difference between the 5, the 5S, and the SE. Then we're gonna take this, uh, the SE to a different machine we have to get some really nice detailed images of the camera, Touch ID, lightning connector, uh, the A9 processor in the SE and some other details of the phone to see if we find any differences between or what are the differences between these three devices. All right. So here you can see the photo of the three iPhones, the 5, the 5S and the SE and the x-ray of the three phones taken with the TrueView Prime S. And as you can see they look very similar, except the Touch ID on the 5S and SE. We now take the iPhone SE to our TrueView 200 system uh, for more detailed images of the device. Here's the Apple logo that now we can see with X-rays before it was transparent. The vibration motor hasn't changed since the 5 with the speaker. Uh, the camera has been upgraded on the iPhone SE, uh, as you can see here. The lighting connect with Touch ID and speaker uh, remain the same as the 5S and the auto jack, uh, which we expect to disappear in iPhone 7. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let us know if you have any questions. Play what you want.